Supercomputers today have reached petaflop performance. That is, they can compute 10 to the 15 or 1,000 trillion floating point operations per second, enabling large-scale, predictive, physical simulations. However, many problems in, for example, biological systems and climate modeling require far greater compute power. Future exaflop machines, which can compute 10 to the 18 or 1 million trillion floating point operations per second, will be capable of modeling such challenging problems. Yet, computer performance is increasingly dominated by interconnect limitations. Already, Petaflop machines require 5 to 10 megawatts of power to operate with one quarter of that power devoted just to the computer network. While transistor performance continues to improve with logarithmic scaling, interconnect performance has not improved much at all. Without a dramatic change in interconnect technology, nuclear reactors will have to be built alongside future supercomputers just to power the computer's network. The scientists at Sandia National Labs are addressing bandwidth and power consumption problems of the future by creating the first resonant silicon microphotonic modulators to achieve sub-100 femtojoule per bit performance and the first high-speed silicon bandpass switches, both of which can be driven with CMOS drive voltages. The main challenge in going from petaflop to exaflop is really, uh, you know, not to say that there aren't other challenges out there, but one of the main challenges is really uh, interconnect bandwidth and, and power consumption. And our devices uh, are uh, really addressing both of those issues. So we're dramatically reducing the power consumption, uh, about 100x reduction in power consumption, and about 100 times increase in bandwidth density. Uh, by using optics for interconnections, and in particular using small silicon photonic optical modulators and switches such as these devices here, we're able to drastically reduce the power dissipation by up to two orders of magnitude compared to the electrical interconnections of today. What this means is that as we go forward into, say, exaflop machines 10 years from now, instead of requiring gigawatts of power, uh, which would require a whole nuclear plant or more to run them, uh, we would then require only about the 10 megawatts of power that the better machines of today will, will use. So data centers are, um are having a uh, very uh, similar problem. Uh, data centers are also very large scale computers. They have a few hundred thousand um, processor cores in some of the world's largest data centers. Uh, and I believe it's expected that by about 2011, the world's data centers will require about 25 power plants uh, just to run their operations. According to McKinsey, by 2020, they're expected to be a larger greenhouse gas emitter uh, than the airline industry. Uh, so they have very significant power uh, consumption problems. Optical communications offers a path toward greatly reducing power consumption while simultaneously providing massive bandwidth density. Together, these modulators and switches establish an ultra-low power silicon microphotonics communication platform. This platform can be applied to high-speed computers, high-speed digital imagers, and other high bandwidth applications. Other applications may be, for example, in uh, communicating information from focal plane arrays or reducing the power or increasing the functionality in telecommunication systems. Uh, so there's many applications where the ability to mix uh, low power compact optical devices onto state-of-the-art silicon electronics uh, will help the future in terms of signal processing and computing applications. Increased computing power will have a big impact in such important areas as climate modeling and drug discovery, as well as fundamental underpinnings of physics, biology, and chemistry. These devices are, are critical devices for, um, you know, the most immediate application is going to be in high-performance computers and getting from petascale to exascale. Getting to exascale will enable us to do a whole lot more. With exascale computers, uh, drug manufacturers will be able to predict just from the molecular structure of the drug how it will interact with the human body. And so the ability to get to exascale uh, has a lot of importance. Uh, and certainly beyond that, uh, I believe microphotonic communication networks will have uh, a very large impact in our everyday life.